If you could tell people one thing about your job that they didn't know, what would it be? No matter what you believe, no matter who you are, the job is absolutely nothing like you think it is. Would you mind taking off the hood? It's a little tough to see your face with that in the light. That better? Yeah, that's fine. We probably should have asked before the cameras were rolling, but what do we call you? Whatever is easiest. People tend to hear what they want, so it doesn't matter. Grim? I suppose that's fine. All right. Grim, how long have you been doing this? I've always been around. I did something different for a bit. But we all got assigned a job when things hit the fan. I mean, not everyone can sit and sing hallelujah or look important with a sword you never use to guard someone who's been threatened approximately once. Some of us have to do the crazy work and go down there. Us? Uh, who else is down there? All sorts. We're with humanity. Every day, every hour. Every coffee break back in the gates never lasts long enough. You know, they say one day is like a thousand years. And I can't impart to you enough that in our line of work, that's horseshit. Everyone claims they have it the hardest. The Guardians usually whine the loudest. And that's shit, too. They're babysitters. I do everything they do, and more. And what's that? When man or beast go, I'm their escort. I'm the guy that's got to pull them out of whatever crap they're in and send them to wherever they need to go. I see them at their worst, hands down. Guardians mysteriously disappear when I come in. Pansies. Ben, hold the leads for a few minutes. Will do, oh dark one. I told you to stop calling me that. And I told you to keep your face on and stop sneaking up behind me when I'm trying to clean your stupid knife collection. Life as well as death is full of disappointments. So what's the process? How do you, well... Work? Yeah. It starts with something coming across the ticker. Location, name, general background. Ben gives me the information, and then I can get going. We got one. I literally just told you to hold the ticker. Came through right as he said something. Fine. Extra action for these guys, then. File? You have an assistant? Well, that word implies he provides some form of assistance. Thank you, Ben. Couldn't fit it in one file. Thank you, Ben. So why keep him around? Not my choice. Ben's stuck here. What? Long story short, Ben on paper never died. I came for him, he asked a final favor, I obliged, and it screwed the both of us. So now he technically didn't die, but he's not on Earth anymore. So no one will take the guy. And I have to keep him until everyone stops fighting long enough to figure out what to do with him. So you just put him to work? Well, what else is he going to do? He's pretty useless otherwise. Son of a bitch! Why put him through all this? Look, man, I've been stuck here so long, I don't even know when I got in. I didn't want this, so somebody has to pay. Aren't you punished for any of this? <laughs> What's he gonna do? Kill me? I can't leave, and he can't make me until all this is sorted out. I've been trying to fast track that process for a while now. You have control of that? Not exactly. Baltimore, again? All right. Ben, don't escape. Why would I want to leave? People are just dying to get in here. If I frustrate him enough, maybe he'll commit suicide. You think that'll work? Hey, gets me out of here faster, why not? So is there any sort of ritual you have to go through when you get ready for a reaping? Just call it a job, man. All right, that's all it is anyway. 
Well, it depends on where I am and the job I'm doing. Anytime someone needs to see me a certain way, I come here. You know, sometimes I change up the appearance. Different people see me different ways. But most people settle for the classics. Never do get tired of that. What else? Choose my tools. Differs by place and person. Knives, ropes, swords, cards, that's a fun one. But I have my favorites. So you mentioned how much appearance can differ from person to person. We actually brought along a couple of cultural portrayals of you. Thought we could get your thoughts on them. Oh, sure. Let's take a look. Well, the scope is nice. Really captures my good side. Not sure about how dark it is. Oh, I like this one. Skiing. Never been skiing. I want to go skiing. Well, I guess we'll be going down earlier than expected. So I guess you guys will get to see the job in action. How do you actually get there? Well, we punch in course coordinates and head on down. Really? I thought it would be a little more biblical. Not all of us are the almighty kid. Some of us have to work to get where we want to be and not just bamf into existence. And I can't use the horse for a while, so the door will have to do. What kind of scenes do you usually end up at? Most of them are pretty much what you'd expect. Some are a little calmer. Some are less so. And then there are some that just make you scratch your head. So what's standard protocol for a job? Uh, pretty simple stuff. You enter quietly, you wake them up, you explain the situation, and then you escort them out. It's not always that simple though. What the hell? People often try to put up a fight? Sometimes. Most people realize it doesn't do them any good, but some people try and fight. Any examples? Well, I've been shot at, hit with bats. One guy tried catching me in a net. And then there was this one time. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about that one another time. Are any of the old stories true about cheating you? Oh, people playing games? Sure. That's a part of the gig. One of these days, I really need to send Ingmar Bergman a cake because everyone tries me at chess. Do you know how many games of chess I play in a day? How many? Thousands. I could play chess in my sleep at this point. I could make Deep Blue go down on its digital hands and knees and beg for me to take it. If you're that good at games, how do people cheat down? No, I'm good at chess. That's where people make their mistake. Unbelievable. You beat me at Pinochle. Who plays Pinochle? I mean, what the hell even is Pinochle? I don't have time to practice games in my off time because I have no off time. The only time I get to play is when people challenge me. 
eso consigue la lucha más larga. So, whenever people challenge me to games I don't play very often, I do miserably. That's two out of three, bro. You know you kind of suck at this. I'll be back. Really shoots productivity in the foot. Fat chance, nerd! Are there any jobs that are tougher than others? Well, let's just say I don't like seeing people before it's time, you know? What happens after collection? Well, in the old days, I have to bring them to where they needed to go personally. But these days, there's a lot more people, more jobs, less time. So technology has really saved my butts. This allows me to carry multiple spirits at a time without having to manage everyone. Just shoot and into the bag. Did they kill anything in there? Not really. They don't even realize it. It's completely humane, I swear. Then we punch in coordinates and head back through the door. What door? Any door. We're just using their door. So which one is correct? Excuse me? Which religion got it right? Where do we go? Who's right? Yes. What? Each canister goes to the proper place according to their file. This one is heaven. Hell. Valhalla. This one's just a do-over. And uh, no clue where that one goes. What about that one? No, we don't talk about that one. Everyone gets where they need to go, no problems. So, so long as their paperwork doesn't get screwed up. What do you do with the ones that get screwed up? Well, I try to get it sorted out as soon as possible. For their sake and mine. It'll work someday. I know it will. More paperwork. I try to relax when I can, drink a cup of coffee. But usually there isn't much downtime. Another one in. Oh, just sat down. Where? Indiana. All right. <sighs> Vicki Ames, Hammond, Indiana. People seem to have a rather antagonistic relationship with you. Wait, that's my Nana. Well, it's Nana's time to go. You're often shown as a villain. Look, you gotta let me do my job, man. You're not gonna touch my Nana! Your Nana shouldn't have smoked four packs a day. What do you think of that? Look, man, it's a job, you know? I didn't take away your mom or your grandpa or your dog. I didn't hurt them. If anything, I'm the last thing a lot of people get before moving on. Largely, I come when I'm supposed to, and that's not even up to me. I try my best to be comforting and to help you out. Believe me, I do. If you want to say goodbye or get one last moment in, I want you to have that. Listen, without me, you'd be wandering out there with no clue and no guide. Besides, nothing lasts forever. So I guess that's how I'd want them to see me, as somebody doing a job and trying to help, because I am. Uh, we're running out of space in this card. Uh, it's our last one, too. 
Okay, uh, any last remarks on your work or anything else? Don't try and see me too soon, and I won't come knocking too soon. When you do see me, ask anything. Make a few requests, and we'll do anything we can to help you out. Right, Ben? Right. Okay, that wraps us up. Uh, thanks for having us. No problem at all. I'll get the door ready, and you'll be home in no time. See you soon.